Robots a job to kill. Uh, a tech revolution is coming to the workforce, according to Panera Bread CEO. The CEO explaining that machines will replace traditional labor, quote, like the sun comes up in the morning. Scott Martin, Chris Hahn, and Tony Sayeg are back with us. Scott Martin, this is amazing, especially because the CEO is putting his money where his mouth is. He spent $42 million to put up kiosks so that when you come into Panera, you can order for yourself and not use labor. This is really a harbinger of what's to come. Yeah, and let's face it, I mean, labor over the last few years and frankly, few decades has become more and more expensive. And thanks to advances in technology and advances in AI or artificial intelligence, Melissa, Labor is also a commodity now, so you can have robots, you can have efficiencies that companies in a free market, in a free world, are able to put into their restaurants or their hotels and so forth yeah. to enhance the consumer mm. experience, but also lower prices for you as a consumer. Chris Hahn, according to Gartner, by 2025, a third of all workers will re be replaced by robots and drones. I mean, unfortunately, it just means that as you drive the minimum wage higher, it hastens that day to come even sooner. Well, I don't know. I mean, who's going to spell my name wrong on my order if it's not a human doing it? I don't Great. think a robot will mess <laughs> it up. But that said, I, I look, Sad. look, there's technology is replacing humans every single day. Right. It has been for years. And the minimum wage, whatever the wage is, is never going to be human labor is never going to be cheaper or more efficient as we get more advanced in the way we, go, we deal with robotics. And we're just going to have to adjust to that as a society and deal with the results. No, absolutely. I mean, Tony, he's right. The workforce is absolutely changing. Uh, I, I do think that the, raising the minimum wage hastens it because these CEOs look at the dollars and cents and say, well, I will yeah. spend $42 million this year because I'm being told, and I look at what Walmart's doing, you know, raising the wage, and they're only getting pushback, and it's not helping them, and it's hurting profits. So what's the solution? Because you don't want to be a total downer. You don't want to be a downer, and obviously you're going to have have to focus on retraining our whole job sector, our labor market, to jobs right. that are going to be around and not taken by robotics. But, you know, I think Scott hit it on the head. When you commoditize something like labor on the one side and on the other side, you're making cheap labor more expensive with the central theme of the democratic economic policy today being to raise oh, the minimum gosh. wage. <laughs> you're clearly going to do, to your, to your point, Melissa, accelerate that, that day. Who's doing this? Panera, McDonald's. Okay. They're, it's, they're not doing it to CEOs and, and guys working in offices are doing looking, it to, to but, but hang workers. On. I mean, we want to look for the solution. Scott Martin, I mean, you know, when I look at my kids, it's about learning to program, learning to code. I mean, trying to figure out where the future is. It's not unlike the Industrial Revolution, you know, when machines came in the first time around and replaced jobs. Society has to adjust and find different jobs. How do we get closer to that? Yeah, and I mean, same thing happened in agriculture, too, where 90% yeah. of the workforce was there many, many uh, decades ago. And I'll tell you, I mean, Melissa, it comes into what you just said. I mean, somebody needs to build these robots. Now, robots could probably build right. robots, but there still needs somebody to be still a start of something yeah. somewhere. So that's where it could work out. Yeah, we're going to leave it there, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>